Hey guys, Counter Power's DeadRedHitting.com, and I got a huge treat for you guys today, all right? So I brought on my trainer, all right? He's been fortunate to work with tons of professional baseball players, all right? And so what we're gonna talk about is base training, all right? He's a speed, agility, and quickness expert, all right? So he's a top guy that you can learn from, especially about base running. That's his specialty. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about base running today. All right, cool, thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Now, like Counter said, I've worked with various guys from various different professional organizations on how to properly run the 60, how to properly base run, steal more bases. Now, just because you run a fast 60 doesn't mean you're gonna be a good base deal. I'm sure you play with a lot of guys who are who run 6 5 60s, but then they only steal 15 bases a year. And then you got guys like David Wright who run 6 8 60s and they steal 30 to 35 bases a year and they can hit for power a little bit. It's, it's kind of a fine line between being a good base runner and having a good 60, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've seen tons of guys who can flat out run and you put them on the bases, and it's just an absolute zoo. They have no <laughs> idea what's going on. All right, so yep. they can't steal bases. So it's a skill, all right? So don't <laughs> don't think that just because you're fast that you're going to be able to steal bases. Yeah, 100%. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you a base running tip, not the 60. That's a whole other animal. We'll get to that later on in this channel, and I'll show you guys some 60 tips. But for right now, we're going to go over base running. So Connor, the first baseman that he is, it's actually kind of funny, back in high school, I played against him when we were really, really young. We actually grew up in the same area. I eventually trained him when he played at Mississippi State, and it was kind of funny because I actually was on first base at one point when Connor was playing first, and I got picked off bad by a lefty. Yep, I'll never did. forget that as long as I live. I got him in second base, <laughs> he, he gunned did. him down. Oh, yeah, gunned I'm gonna give down. it to him. He did, I, I got caught stealing like <laughs> twice my entire senior year. But anyways, so he's gonna play first base. Now, if you're taking a lead off, what you're gonna do, he's right here, so I'm starting on the bag right here. You're gonna come back like this, you don't want to come and cross your feet behind. So the closest you come, it's even. So you're taking about a half a step back, and then you're shuffling your way out like this, hands nice and loose. A lot of guys like to do this tight stuff right here. Don't do that. There's proven science behind the tighter you are right here, the harder it is to get going. You want to be nice and loose. And the key is to stealing bases is this front foot right here. So you're going to drop that foot back. So instead of being square, you're going to drop it back and point it. So your foot should be pointing in the 5.5 hole, in between shortstop and third base. That's where this foot should be pointing. So instead of being like this, and your first step's here, now you just drop back just like this, open, and you're going to twist, and you're going to sprint. Now, when I say you're going to be behind the bag, you want to be pretty much even just on the back, the back of the bag, not like you're on second base and you're back here. So you want to be on the back of the bag, right here, because it's still a straight line. Your first step's gonna be right back into the baseline. And if you had to dive back, comfortable lead, step, and then you're gonna dive back, and you're gonna go to the back corner of the bag. So, the point is, is to open up that foot. That'll drop one-tenth, and a tenth means everything in baseball. You can vouch for it. You play with catchers who have one-eight pop times, who can fire the ball down there, yeah. and there's bang-bang plays constantly. A good base dealer, always gonna be a bang-bang play. So that open foot right there is gonna get you a lot more stolen bases. Yeah, absolutely, and one more point just about leading off on the back of the base. Um, especially, it's so important when you're diving back because the, if you can get that back inside or the back outside corner when you're diving back, that you, gives you another step that you can lead off because in that time, it's gonna take me to catch the ball and tag you. All right, so as that's opposed why, to, as the ball was up right here, here, you're done. And I, you're I'm out. running right into the tag. So you wanna, you wanna dive away from the tag which the furthest, way, the furthest point away from the tag is the back corner. So guys, you'll have more videos like these. If you like the video, be sure to click like. Leave your comment if you want more speed training stuff. Now, I'm gonna have a counter, you're gonna link yep. my channel. Yep. We'll link my channel, I do speed training videos every week, teaching guys how to run faster, get stronger, more explosive, all of that. I've done it with Connor, I've done it with other pro, pro athletes. So be sure to click that annotation, head over to the Twice Speed channel, see what you can get. Connor, I'll let you, I'll let you lead him out with your yeah. uh, little dead red. <laughs> Absolutely, all right, so if you guys haven't yet, and you're an athlete who wants to increase your power, increase your bat speed, all right, click the link in the description below. Go over to deadredhitting.com. I got a completely free workout for you. All right, so just head over there again. Click the link in the description. Head over to Dead Red Hitting and get your free workout.